New at five, a safety alert in the district. Police are looking for a man they say is targeting women near the Minnesota Avenue Metro stop. Surveillance video shows him approaching women. In one incident, he sexually assaults a woman after forcing her across a nearby footbridge. Jennifer Donlin live in Northeast Washington tonight with more on this safety concern than all of you need to see tonight. Jen. Well, Leon, a big warning out to parents this evening because two of the three victims, they're students, young girls. This footbridge behind me is the target area. This is the way residents in these neighborhoods could safely cross the busy 295 and get to the Minnesota Avenue Metro Station just across the way. Police say that it is the target of a sexual predator, same man, same bridge, and he's still out there. Nobody is safe. Nowhere. Fear tonight as DC police turn up the heat in the hunt for this predator. He was captured on video at the Minnesota Avenue Metro. As he walked out onto the footbridge, he put a gun to an adult woman's body and kidnapped her, forcing her to walk several blocks away where he raped her. Less than a week later, he tried again twice in the same place. Only the victims were teenagers. As a, as a mother, how does this? Very scary. My heart is panicking right now. Kristen Hawthorne walks her 10 year old daughter across the bridge that crosses over 295 to the Minnesota Avenue Metro. Police is down here. You still got to walk over the bridge, so which means once you get over the bridge, nobody's not there to actually see you either. The camera captured the beginning of the first crime on March 1st. It was 11 o'clock in the morning when he pulled the gun out on the first victim and walked her to the 700 block of Barnes Street. Just six days later, at 7 a.m. on the same bridge, sources say he told a 17 year old girl to follow him or he'd shoot her. She started to, but then ran away. 20 minutes later, sources explain he then approached a 14 year old girl and told her to come here. She ran towards another man who was walking towards her. The attacker tried to chase her, but gave up. I can't walk through here with my daughter and something happened. That's just. It's crazy. We're very afraid that he may strike again and we want to get him captured before he does. Now at the time of these crimes, we do know that he had a goatee, appeared to be in his 20s. He was also wearing Nike Jordans. Now who's to say that he'll still be wearing those shoes, but it's possible. Most importantly, he may go by the name Moses. That's what police have and they are on the hunt. Reporting live from Northeast, I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC 7 News.